principles of prophetic intercession let me teach you the principles of prophetic intercession in another series we're going to be dealing um, deeper but just to give the foundation the intercessory ministry is based on two principal foundations please listen carefully the intercessory ministry is based on two principal foundations number one the law of love the first foundation upon which the intercessory ministry rests is the law of love love for god and love for people first timothy chapter 2 and verse 4 tells us that god desires that all men be saved and then when they are saved that they don't just stop there but that they grow and mature and come into the knowledge of the truth so the intercessory ministry is founded on the law of love you cannot become an intercessor when there is self alive in you remember my definition of love the absence of self you are walking in love to the degree that there is the absence of self why go through the labor of prayer the labor of fasting the labor of stretching and discomforting yourself over an issue that is not your business can i tell you this as you will be learning everything you make happen for someone you are delivering yourself to from that trouble that was the mistake of esther when esther had a chance to advocate she was in the palace she was already immune don't forget this is the wife of the king and mordecai sent a warning to her he said if you leave us god will raise another help for us but when they are done with us when they find out you are a jew too you will see what will happen to you in that palace and esther said no 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 she put on her sackcloth and ashes he said i'm i'm going to the king but let us fast and pray pray for me so that i can intercede for you too they were all, all intercessors for one another they prayed for her and she went before the king violated the ordinance of approaching his presence and yet he lifted the golden censer because prayer had gone up if she just stepped in carelessly and casually that inner chamber that would have been the last time what happened to Vashti at least Vashti was driven away she would have been killed you know those days they kill they don't forgive no counseling no nothing they kill straight to the point the law of love you see most of what we do as believers that we think is spirituality is just a marketing of flesh there is such a let me tell you this you know you are growing spiritually to the degree to which you and your interest decreases where you are burdened with the purposes of the kingdom greater than your personal desires that was temptation number one when satan came to jesus temptation number one was your individual appetite turn this stone to bread you are hungry you need bread forget about your assignment and what your father sent you satisfy your hunger and jesus said i've moved past that realm the agenda of god is bigger than my personal hunger are we together now many of us as prayerful as we are everything centers around us not even your family members not even your wife not even your husband it's none of your business what happens to anybody provided i am hot then i pray if i am fine to hell with what is happening in the body respectfully speaking and with all due respect and honor to the body of christ even we men of god we have this spirit and we have mentored and taught members to walk like that whatever is happening to the church is not your business provided koinonia is fine provided we are growing whether a church is being burnt whether whatever is happening that's none of your business we are fine do not make the mistake of esther you know you are matured spiritually when you can receive the pain that is in the heart of jesus 
so that you find yourself fasting for three days over an issue that is entirely not your business god can trust you with the salvation of many and say listen in this family in seven days all of them are about to die this is what satan has programmed and there is the spirit that brings salvation over around the family there is no intercessor and he comes to you can i trust you for the redemption of this family and you can wake up in the night i can't be trusted Lord what are we doing it's none of your business you just stand and while you pray angels come and you find out that by prophecy that family should die Except, listen don't fear negative prophecy when there is an intercessor no 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 There are only few prophecies in the Bible that are called written judgments. They can't be changed. A bulk of the things that happen in our lives, it is within the power of the believer to change if you know and understand God's system. Are we together now? So the intercessory ministry is based on two foundations. Let's hurry up. Number one, the law of love. Love for God and love for people. The intercessory ministry is not based on the desire to pray. Uh -uh. The intercessory ministry is not based on the desire to be powerful. No. Love is the genuine biblical foundation for the intercessory ministry. Number two. The second foundation for the intercessory ministry is the principle of shared dominion. The second foundation upon which the intercessory ministry sits on is the principle of shared dominion psalms 115 and verse 16 psalms 115 and verse 16 hmm. yes Ah 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 You see let me tell you this the church is an advantage the church is not a disadvantage to civilization the house of God is where the mysteries of the kingdom are dispensed. It is where high level spiritual understanding is given to believers. I was glad he said, when they said unto me, let the house of God is not an interruption to your time. It's an advantage to your destiny. Are we together? Behold, I show you a mystery. Please give me that scripture again. The heaven even the heavens are the lord's but the earth has he given to the children of men in theology we call this the principle of shared dominion now as you know the church and the believer has been given dominion but our dominion is not absolute dominion our dominion is derived are we together now that means to we depend on what we were given God's dominion is absolute dominion but the dominion of the believer is shared dominion and here's how God created the system please watch this that the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord's but the earth he has given to the children of men do you know what that means that means he placed man according to Genesis 1 26 to 28 he gave man dominion over the earth and its entirety that means if God wants to do anything on earth and if Satan wants to do anything on earth both God and Satan must add men to the equation of dominion for anything to happen in the earth God has the power to veto man but he has limited himself to honor man by saying man as far as the earth is concerned you must become a factor to reckon with 
if anything will happen in the earth do you know why satan is powerful satan is powerful for as long as there is one unsaved person and one ignorant person this is where satan derives his strength the confidence of satan is based on the fact that he thinks it will be impossible for everybody on earth to be saved and everybody to come into the fullness of the stature so he knows provided there is one available vessel a legion was in one person this is satan's confidence he's not moved by the fact that many things are happening he's threatened but not moved because there is still one person he can deceive there is still one soul he can kill steal and destroy from There is a law called the law of territory that means you are not allowed to be a legitimate functionary within a territory until you are built with the materials of that territory are we together now you cannot go to heaven you cannot even enter the realm of the spirit with this body it has to change that is why when you are having a visionary experience is your spirit that accesses that realm the physical body remains here when you dream is not your body the body you see there is just a spirit body are we together now remember we can leave but we are not going with this body something will happen according to the authority of scripture when the trumpet sounds those who are dead in christ will rise first is that true go to the grave and see whether their bodies are there it's decayed already so another body would be given to them bodies incorruptible and we who are alive and are kept we will be changed are we together now yes the reason why demons the reason why spirits cannot function legitimately on earth is because they did not descend to the earth with a body a body was only made for adam and his generation are you seeing that now if you know this you will now well, we have the mystery of deliverance coming so let me not hurry up i will be teaching you a deep mystery why people go to bed and see these spirits come to molest them i will teach you what they are looking for because spirits are genderless there is no male and female spirit so what is the appearance of that man that comes to you or that woman that comes to you there is a mystery and there is an explanation hmm. what are they looking for but let's limit ourselves to what we are discussing now are we learning already the intercessory ministry is based on two foundations number one the law of love number two the principle of shared dominion that means when it has to do with happenings in the earth it is not all up to god and it is not all up to man there is a participatory role that we have to play so don't look at the earth and say if there is a god in heaven this answers the question that people say if there is a god of heaven in heaven why is there killing and raping and maiming people i will tell you that part of the equation came as a result of man's carelessness are we together it is the reason why there are territories today that do not call upon the name of yeshua and yet there is dexterity and order within that territory because they took advantage of the principles of scripture that make for leadership and they replicated heaven within that territory The principle of shared dominion question what power does Satan use to destroy man who can answer that question do you know what power Satan uses <laughs> once have I spoken twice have you heard that all power belongs to the Lord do you believe that scripture where then does Satan get this power how come he is so powerful 
I will tell you. It is not just because he was once a cherub that covereth. It is not just because he deceived one third of the angels. Are we together now? In as much as it is true, you see, one thing with light is that once you have received light, light is like DNA. The memory and the imprint of that light remains with you. This is why, ah, do I, should we talk about this now? Let's see. Now, watch this. If I am a herbalist, God forbid, God forbid in the name of Jesus. I'm saying it on air so that you get it clearly because of the times that we live in. Listen carefully, it's just an example. Now, watch this. Let's assume that as a young boy, I was introduced into traditional practice and they opened my eyes using divination. If I get born again, that opening will not close again. Are you getting now? Yeah. What happens is just that the agency that sponsors that activity will change, but that advantage remains with you completely. <laughs> Listen, Satan was once the light bearer. The imprint of that light, you see, even though he's fallen right now, it cannot be undone again like to brainwash the mysteries listen carefully there are three levels of accessing power the highest is power through intimacy relationship are we together now the highest level of spiritual power comes through intimacy the second level comes by accessing the mysteries of the kingdom there is a dimension of the power of god invested in mysteries you don't need a relationship for that to work all you need is understanding and the faith to engage it this is the kind of power that is used by herbalist and spiritualist those who practice divination what they are teaching them are things that are largely founded from scripture but empowered by demonic agencies that's why they fast too that's why they do all of these things too whether you are serving god or satan you will still fast is that true because there is something it can do to you remember the prophets of baal and elijah did you not see a similarity of operations between two of them and yet one belonged to baal and one belonged to god and all of them needed altars all of them needed sacrifices all of them needed fire to come down i hope you are we're still together this night yes if you do not understand the principle of shared dominion the devil will take advantage of your life and you will sit down and believe everything that is happening to you is the will of God. Satan will deceive you into saying, look, if it happens, it's the will of God. Just give thanks. Because you do not understand that the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord. But the earth has he given to the sons. Hezekiah would have said, all right, that's okay. I've heard you. Hezekiah said, no way. I'm not ignorant as a king. He turned to the wall and began to negotiate. The law of love and the principle of shared dominion. Now